Welcome back to Historic Investments. Today we're going to review a really interesting Chinese warlord pistol. Not just any pistol, but a Taku Naval Dockyard. And not just any Taku Naval Dockyard. One with an interesting, personalized history that dropped out of the grips in the process of our disassembly. Let's review the note, what it means, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. We're happy to answer any questions. We assess a lot of older guns and have to answer a lot of pretty standard collector questions. Everybody wants to know, is the finish original or has the gun been reblued? They want to know, are the mechanics sound? And of course they want to know, are all parts matching? So when it comes to broom handles, we have to do a complete disassembly and look at the individual parts. And in the course of disassembly, we take off the grips because the grips are customarily numbered. Well, in this particular case, yes, the grips are numbered on each panel, but surprisingly, and in fact, astoundingly, we also found a note. It's an old note folded up on uh, onion skin paper. You can see that the paper has been stained in contact with the grips for a long time and that a corner has been distressed from uh, the passage of the grip screw. So let's unfurl the note and take a look and see what it says. Unfurling the note was kind of exciting. I guess part of me thought I might be reading a, a U.S. rendition of a Chinese fortune cookie where the note would be in English, but not surprisingly, it was Chinese. But that's okay. I'm sure just like you guys, virtually everybody watching this has had Chinese 101. Of course, if I, maybe you took in college, other people who were particularly gifted or went to private school probably started their Chinese in eighth grade. But let's go through this together and see if my uh, rusty Chinese can be rejuvenated. So the first few characters mean help. I am stuck inside the Taku Naval Dockyard factory. Food is short. Times are tough. I am not sure how much longer I can survive. Please send help quick. Well, that's my interpretation. I don't know, but my Chinese is kind of rusty. Um, maybe there was some missing information there that was due to some of the holes that were uh, induced by the, the grip screw. But in any event, in times like this, when, whether it's in a advanced Arabic, a Chinese, or Russian, I need to turn to outside consultants. Okay, now let's teleport to China, where hopefully we can get a really good high-level translation of that mystery message. So what this mystery message literally says is, you, you, did you sure, you sure you got all of that, including the message that might have been obscured by those little uh, screw holes? Yeah, that's, that's all. Could, any chance you could maybe repeat it slowly, very slowly in English? Yeah, sounds good. So um, what that message um, is trying to say is that um, the police officer uh, from Anyang, uh, it's a, I think it's a small town in, in, in China, uh, in the province Henan, um, and the police officer's name is Guan Yongfeng, and um, I believe it's a he, uh, is licensed to own this gun or to allow to use this gun starting 1977, November the 21st. Wow. Well, thank you very much. It's not often that we can find some documentation of a you know, a fascinating and, and pretty rare uh, Chinese-made Mauser C-96 that was used first during the Chinese Civil Wars, and then it was pressed into police service, you know, gosh, uh, decades after the Civil War before eventually being exported to the United States. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, of course. It's a really cool story. Well, there you have it. How many of us have wondered, gee, if only this old gun could talk? Well, in this case, this gun did talk. We don't know exactly how it featured or functioned during the Chinese Civil Wars, but we do know that after the Civil War, for many years, it was used by the Chinese police. And it remained in use largely until its export in the late 1970s or early 1980s when it came into the United States. If you like this kind of a historical review, stay tuned. There's more to come. Meanwhile, good luck and good collecting.